All right, hey y'all, Siegel here. Um, back on another part of Silent Hill 3. In the last part, we finally uh, got into the Otherworld section of the hospital. Um, and we're making our way towards uh, the man on the phone, Vincent, who we found out is the father of Claudia. And I, I apologize if I like, you see me looking around my room. I'm pretty sure we have like rats or raccoons in our fucking walls here. So I'm just like constantly like, is was that a noise in game or was that a noise in our house? So I'm constantly being fucking gaslit by many things in that I deal with on my day to day basis. It's great. Like, can you? I don't know. What, I don't know what I mean by gaslit. That's, I'm just using words. Um, I have mental illness. <laughs> um. But yeah, uh, we're still trying to make our way to Vincent. Um, we got a phone call in the last part um, telling us that Stanley is, well, he said he's underground uh, in number seven, so I'm assuming he's dead. And then he mentioned, he referred to Leonard as the murderer. Okay, so I can't go that way, so I have to go, I have to go all the way around. Uh, I didn't try the exit, or the entrance, but it, of course it's locked. Um... I find it so cool that they have, they, they gave the nurse a gun. That's so cool. But unfortunately, not cool enough to keep me from killing you. Okay, so I can't get there. So that section literally means nothing. Um. I think I have done everything I can do here. Can I go through the day room? Is that a door here? But it's locked. All that's left to check is the basement, I think. Oh, I also haven't been on the roof, but I can't get to the stairs, so I don't think I can check that. Wait, where am I? Ah, this is a puzzle. He said number seven, so. Okay, well, he made noise. Padlock. Fuck in Christ. Um I don't know, man. I literally have zero idea what this puzzle is. Seven three one eight four zero. Or maybe it's this. Two six zero five nine. All right, hold on. Let me let me get out the good old notepad again. Two six zero. Because there's nothing there, I'm gonna assume it's a zero, five, nine. That'd be zero, four, eight, and 
one through seven. Well, I'm gonna try it. Oh, you can examine that. Okay. Uh, I didn't mean to do that, but you can. All right. Oh no, that's not how this works. I don't fucking know, man. I, I have no idea what this puzzle is. Mate, um... Could not even begin to tell you what this puzzle is. Or how it wants me to do this. Maybe if I just brute force it. I mean, there's literally no way I could fucking brute force this, because I feel like it's so, there's so many possible combinations that it could be, but I'll be damned if I'm not willing to try. I just, I just want to hear that click of, you fucking figured it out, you stupid idiot, just figure out the, god, the goddamn puzzle. It's not happening, but uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it wants me to do. Yeah, I, 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 I'll have to come back to that because I have no idea what, the, what it wants me to do. Or not. Okay, so. I can't go to B1 or B2, I can only go to B3. And we have a plastic bag, and the only other puzzle was, um, well, the only puzzle that I found. Uh, was the bucket of blood. So I'm just going to assume I have to use the plastic bag on that. I put blood in the plastic bag. I got a plastic bag with blood. I put the blood from the treatment room in this. Uh, I put the blood from the treatment room in this. I don't especially want to carry it around with me. Uh... Well, apparently I can combine it with something. I'm trying to think of where haven't I gone. I haven't checked that elevator at the end of the hall there, so. Oh, this is this is where I came from. Okay. All right. Um. I didn't check door six and four. That's six. If that's six. All right, they're both locked anyway, so it doesn't matter. 
Um, I guess I'll go back down to the bottom floor and um, try and use the blood there, I guess. I, for the life of me, don't know what they want me to use it for. Yes, yes, yes. You knock me down and then you, you simply just inconvenience me. Literally fuck off. Sorry about that. No! Okay, um... Oh! Um... Oh. Nope. I can't interact with these bodies or anything. Like, I'm not getting any assistance here. Wait, what was the fucking... Yeah, this doesn't help me. Uh... But that doesn't help me either, because where the fuck is 312? Um. Okay, yeah, I said that I can go. I was able to go into the men's locker room and the women's locker room. One of them had the place where I did the phone call, but I don't remember what was in the other one. Um, I guess I could go back there real quick, because I literally don't know what it wants me to do in here. I'm drawing a pretty big blank. I will not lie to you. Like, I have a puzzle item and no knowledge or anything that I don't have anything to combine it with. At least, I don't think. I keep pressing the map button, I'm sorry. Um. Yeah, so. But I I'm guessing because I can combine it with something, I have to get another item to combine it with. Like, they wouldn't give me that option if there was nothing I could do with it, right? Ah. Maybe him. No! Okay. Actually, the more I look at it, the more pitiful it seems. We got a child locked up in there with no chance to escape. There's a paper bag here with nothing but garbage inside. Okay, well, there doesn't appear to be anything I can do in here. I keep meaning to open my inventory. Um, there's gotta be something I can do with this blood.
But there's no way for me to get to any of the stairs, I don't think. So I can't... Like, the basement just doesn't factor into anything right now. Unless there's something in the reception office. I didn't find anything in there. But maybe I just wasn't looking. Or maybe I just gotta go back there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check there again. I love being lost. Great. Absolutely my favorite thing. There's nothing in here, but yeah. Um, I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I mean, I feel like I just have to figure out that puzzle, but I have no idea what that puzzle is. I feel like because I'm here, I might as well just save again. Is this my last save? Yeah, it was. Can't get through there. I guess back to uh, basement three or whatever. I'm gonna fucking figure out this puzzle. Seven, three. Uh, seven, three, one. I can't change this. Can only make it go left or right. Uh. I just feel so lost. Like, I feel like there, would, there should have been at least a, a fucking note or something that helped me with this. I mean, maybe there is, and I'm just not, I'm just forgetting about it. But. Oh. Okay, this is helping. Okay, I'm just an idiot. Okay, so. One, uh, uh, two, I mean, this still doesn't help me with Oh, 
Oh, is that is that? I don't, I'm not sure what Roman numeral that is. Which one is that? I'm guess I, I'd imagine that has to be six. No. Roman goals. That's four. Maybe it's sideways. So four. Then I don't know what that one is. The middle one is three, two, one. Three, two, one. Or no. Would I have to pull on this or will it just unlock? I figure it out. So on the bodies, bags, there's seven, five, nine, and two. Maybe seven three one. But I can't even make or... like, I can't even I can't Two five nine seven. Is that a code to something else? Wait. No, because that's the code right there. Two, five, nine.
Where was seven? Seven was there. Or maybe it wants it the other way around. So instead of two, five, nine, seven, it wants seven, nine, five, two. No, that's not it either. Uh, <sighs> Alright, I need to cut this until I figure it out, I guess. I'm literally an idiot. It was literally laid out for me right there, but me thinking, oh, it's not going to be that simple. It was that simple. It was 2597. You have to put the numbers in the middle because uh, the middle like section is highlighted more than the other, the other section. So the numbers on the left and right don't matter. It's only the middle numbers. Um, the diagram... I think it points to the both those numbers because five and nine are next to each other and then two and seven are on the opposite ends. It was literally laid out for me. I'm just an idiot. Oh, I got a cremated key. There's nothing in here apart from a few straight ashes. ashes. Well... I would say, well, I didn't have to fucking Google it, I guess, but I don't know if I should feel proud of myself for not having to Google that. I figured it out nonetheless, but God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, well. Um. What? Oh, okay. I can't look at the map in that one. Um. I'll go back to floor one, just because I know there's a locked door on that floor. Pretty sure. Yep. Like, I was like, I, I don't know, I'm pretty sure I said it's probably those numbers on the sheets. But. Um, okay, happy birthday is right there, I see that. Can you not touch me? I'm aggravated. Happy first birthday! Okay, I guess I can't fucking read that. What are we doing, health wise? Yeah, we're fine. Actually, fuck off. Ah. Literally get off of me. Ah. Am I taking damage from being in here? Of course, everything is always fucking locked. Alright, but we reached a safe point. Holy shit. Fuck this part in particular. I'm an idiot. That's okay.
But this part has literally gone on too long. I mean, I'm going to cut some of it, obviously. Because I took way too long with my stupid dumb brain. But... We figured out the fucking cremation puzzle. We got a key. We're about to deal with whatever bullshit's in this room. Um... Yeah, let me just save. I saw that drawing on the dividing screens at the hospital, but this is different. It seems like it was drawn a long time ago, somehow. All right, uh, yeah, um, figured out that puzzle. I thought like that's the only thing of note we did in this episode. I don't really remember. My brain is, um, all jumbled from that. But in the next part, we'll continue going through. We'll solve another puzzle, probably with that bag of blood. Oh, yeah, we got that in this episode. We got the bag of blood. Um, yeah. Thank you for putting up with my stupidity. And in the next part... Y'all have a good day. Whatever. And just.